Tourists report a large, scary animal in the forest near our city. The animal appeared to be a dinosaur. Nonsense! The things they come up with. But just in case, I suppose it can't hurt to ask your dad and some of his friends to go to the forest and take a look for this unknown animal. We gotta go warn the Turbozors. Thanks for breakfast! Thanks a bunch, Grandma! Oh, you're staying here with me, Florian. You need to finish your breakfast. They're not here. You think they were found? Dad couldn't get here that fast. Hi. <gasps> there you are. We've been looking for you. You've all got to split. What's going on? People saw you here and think you're dangerous. And now they're coming to find you, so you've got to leave the forest. We can't just leave. This is our home. We've lived here thousands of years. Yeah. yeah. What if we explain that these dinosaurs aren't dangerous? But who would believe us? We won't be allowed to come here again. People must never know we're here. We've hid a long time, and it's important that we continue to hide. I've got it. We'll make it seem like it was all a big mistake by building a toy dinosaur. But what adult would be afraid of a toy? We just need people to think the report was a mistake. Peter, I think you just had a terrific idea. Does anyone else think that this creature might not be scary enough? Or am I the only one with doubts? Uh, what don't you uh... like about it, Chuck? To me, it looks like it's some innocent little animal. I bet if we made it out of rubber, then it could be somebody's bath toy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try something different? We should make a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Why is that? Yeah, why is that? Same question. Hey, check out the Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> it's beautiful. And now, we have to make it look terrible. La, 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 la. One last thing. What will we use to build it? Hmm. Well... Oh! The wind knocked these down. If we look around, we'll find more. We are in a forest. Great idea! Let's do it! Huh, made of fallen trees! <laughs> go, go, Turbozors!
Hey, Chuck, why aren't you helping out? Oh, I could help everybody by being a bottle. <laughs> Looks just like me. Hey, you ruined it. Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible beast found in the forest, standing absolutely still. Someone makes a wooden sculpture in the forest and tourists mistake it for a live dinosaur. Your dad and his friends decided to bring it to town and put it on display in the square. We should all go see it. <laughs> Tonight. Well, I need to make a presentation about dinosaurs. Ha! For you, that should be a piece of cake. Yeah, I know, but I don't know where to start. How about a unique spin? You could write about if dinosaurs were alive with us today. Good plan. I could make a video. Great idea. I bet you could shoot it all on your phone. How else would I do it? That's kind of weird. Usually everyone's out. It's not like they can all go on vacation. Up there! Hey! Jerry! Ah! Hey, guys! What's new in human land? We need some help. Where is everyone? Asleep. Nap time. How come you're not sleeping? No rest for the awesome. Yeah, I should have known. I'm working on a school project. I could use some help from you all. So what do you need us to do? I need you guys to act like real dinosaurs and stuff, and I'll shoot it on video. A movie? So we'd be like famous actors? Kind of, <sighs> sure. Say no more. We're on it. from us. How can we help your movie? Show me the kind of stuff dinosaurs would do in ancient prehistoric times. Hmm. Get into fights and stuff, and roar! Show what you're made of! I think I'm made of bones and skin, but I don't know how to act like that. Most not the It's not like we're asking you to actually go fight each other, but you can probably pretend to, right? Oh, pretending. That sounds like fun, actually. Yes, yes, let's do it. Awesome, thanks. Who's first? Anyone? I'll go. Me and Donkey. Yeah. This will definitely earn an A. Uh, huh? Huh? Okay, let's do it. 
Camera, action! Hmm. No, what's going on? Fighting so unsightly, Jerry. I agree with her. Fighting is reserved for simpler minds. Then what would you rather do instead? Huh, I don't know. I could show off my beautiful gardening. Uh -huh. Hmm. I don't know if dinosaurs gardening will fly with my science teacher much. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <gasps> I've got it! We'll show off our dance moves. Oh, splendid idea. I am quick on my feet. The most awesome project I'll ever turn in. The best in your whole entire class. Thanks. You guys are the best. Make sure you don't forget our best dino trick of all. <laughs> huh? Everybody in position. Go, go, Turbozords! Yeah, yeah. I'll get an A for sure. Millions of views online. Awesome. There is just one small problem. If you show people this video, then they'll know who we are. Oh, you're right. We can't show it. But what now? Ah, easy. Peter can just draw all of our dinosaur antics. Yes, you're a genius. Yes, I am. <laughs> Bush, we head three finger lengths north, and we find the big log. Should be it. Right? Uh, whose finger lengths? Mine. One and a half of yours. <laughs> Sound good? Let's go! Go, go, Turbo Swords! Here. 
I found something. Thanks. Ooh, another map. With further instructions. Well, let's compare the two. Yes. So that's the way. Southwest. <laughs> ruined our map. We wanted to make it fun for you. It was our birthday surprise for you. Mm. We buried it near the lake. This was all your idea? That's so great. We don't need a map, just our brains. Ahoy, me! Yeah. All talents on deck! <laughs> Whoa! Yesterday. Surprise! The treasure's somewhere on it. Yeah, let's go. Couldn't find the treasure. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> yes, yes, yes! We found the treasure! Happy birthday! Hooray! Whoa! It's pirate costumes! <laughs> huh? Ahoy! What a fine-looking dino crew! Where to, Captain? Adventure! All right, I'll be back in three days. Now, while I'm gone, it's important that you're all good for Aunt Nora, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Oh, there's my bus. I've got to go now so I can catch the train. Oh, someone forgot their suitcase. Huh? That suitcase belongs to Grandma. She got on the bus without it. Yes. A sticky situation. Don't you worry about it. I'll get the other turbozors and we'll think of something. And then Grandma forgot her bag, along with everything in it. Oh, me too. Even though I was hungry, I somehow managed to forget breakfast and... Thor is a perfectly lovely story, but we just don't have the time. According to this map, we can catch the train at the next stop and bring your grandma her suitcase. The only problem is that stop is all the way on the other side of the river. I know what we can do. Turbozors to the river. Here, we will build a ramp and jump right over the river. Thor, you start digging a hole. Unky, you start looking for the materials. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go, go, Turbozoids! And be sure to hang on to your hats. Your grandma needs her suitcase. Huh? 
Who knew Joe can fly? <gasps> Wait a minute! I can fly! To the grandma I go! Maybe you should have forgotten to have breakfast yesterday as well. <laughs> Do you have to drive so fast? You have to keep up, Jerry. We can't be late. Oh, maybe your grandma can do without her case. Jerry, if you're tired, just ride on the roof. What on earth are you waiting for? Step on it, Joe. Grandma needs her suitcase. Hold on tight, because the road might get a little bumpy from here. I'm not worried. How bumpy can it be? You're about to find out. <laughs> Jerry, you can open your eyes now. We've stopped moving. But we can't stop moving. We're already running late. I think we just might make it if we can get up over the mountain. That's a waste of time. Why not just go through the tunnel? We can't go in the tunnel. The sign says so. Imagine being scared of a tunnel. Well, I'm going in myself. <gasps> I told you there was nothing to worry about. Hey, what's that light up ahead? Huh? It's the train. The train! The train! <laughs> Yeah, I think we should go up the hill. Oh. <laughs> Peter? Katie? My suitcase! How on earth did you get here so quickly? A special driverless taxi. Oh. It's oh. very fast. Without it, we never would have made it. Thank you for the suitcase, kids. So what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Bye. And now it's time to go home. But please, can we drive home the long way? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what just happened? It looks like Katie sent you your first text. Hmm. Cool. What are all these faces? And why is one <laughs> sticking its tongue out? They're called emoticons. <laughs> They're like a language. See the smile, Grandma? Katie is just letting you know that she's in a good mood. So now you're going to know all about text messaging. Are you going to respond? Of course I'll respond. Now where are the smiley faces? Aha! Hmm. <gasps> Grandma, what are those strange symbols you sent me? What do you mean? She's the one who sent them first. From now on, when I need to say something, I won't use words. I'll only use the smiley faces. Well, you look at this. It's high time someone removes these from the road. Save water. Don't let it drip all day. This wall needs a paint job. Last but not least, please water. Let's see if all these emoti cans will do the trick. <sighs> so hot. Want to go to the lake? on these rocks. That's weird. There weren't any yesterday. <laughs> Do you think it's a message? If so, the message is that someone wants these stones dug out. That's right. I bet that someone wants these stones to be dug out so they can be cleared from the road. Who's this someone? 
Maybe that's their symbol. It looks like a broken dumbbell. Maybe a retired athlete. Do you think we can dig out the stones and move them? Are you kidding? Of course we can! to decide where to put them. How about we take them to the lake? We're heading there anyhow. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Another message. Our mystery person strikes again. One's got a shovel. Do you dig it? And the other has some kind of broom. Let's go there. Hey, look. I'm a gardener now. Stop! Those are roots! This tree's upside down. Much better. That's done. Some water, please. That ought to do it. We did lots of important chores. Those messages were useful. What? Grandma just sent me a message. <laughs> what does it mean? She wants us to weed the new trees. Look, it's a broken dumbbell. So, all those notes we found, I wonder, were they from her? Good point. They were all from Grandma. They couldn't have been meant for us. So then who were they meant for? Let's ask her. <laughs> oh, what's this? Dinosaurs? What is going on over there? Huh? Peter? Dinosaurs? A new emoticon. I'll take a wild guess. Are Boris and Bruno teasing you again? Yeah, Aunt Nora bought them a brand new robot. It's all we've been hearing about. Wow, it's so 21st century. Yeah, he's totally cool. If only you two had one, we could play together. Of course, you would have to be able to handle modern technology. <laughs> I saw it too. Let's just say it's not like you and me. That's right. That gives me an idea. Chuck, this calls for your special talent. Do you get my drift? Yes. Go, go, Turbo Zorbs! <laughs> I am a robot. My name is Chuck. <laughs> You should be in the movies. Oh no, scary. <laughs> Don't be afraid, he's not dangerous. I am a robot, you can call me Chuck. Wow, this one talks. Of course he can talk. He's state of the art, the latest model. He was a gift from our grandmother for good behavior. He can do all sorts of stuff. Look, check this out. He is great at dancing. That's amazing. He does exercises too. Pick stuff up. Hey, want him to pick you up? No need to worry. I can control it. Let me see that. You don't control it. 
This is for your toy car. Oh. <laughs> then that means it's moving by itself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's coming! The scary robot's after us! put all this dirt back to make sure that no one trips and falls. Bull just fell asleep. Thor and Chuck are on the job, though. What are you doing? Want to come play soccer? Can't you see we're busy right now? <laughs> and we can't tell you about it. It's a secret. You can't carry the ball with your teeth. Yeah. It. But isn't that my grandma's? Her wheelbarrow. But now it's our rocket. <laughs> <laughs> nope. 
Not for you. Ooh, can I drive it? No, this rocket takes skill and you don't know how. You're just being selfish. Let's go, you guys. No, we're not being selfish. We're just, you know, erring on the safe side. A commemorative photo to start. <laughs> All right, now to go extra fast. <laughs> Chuck, you're too heavy. It's dangerous in that form. Hit the brakes, Chuck. The swamp's up ahead. We forgot to install brakes! Come quick! Chuck fell in the swamp! We must help him! Go, go, Turbozords! <laughs> Here, a pool floaty! Yeah! <laughs> Nope, not a pool floaty. We need to work fast. He'll be under soon. Hunky, mm -hmm. throw him the rope to pull him ashore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peter, Katie, grab hold of Hunky's rope. Go tie it to that tree. Uh. <laughs> Hang on, Chuck. I'm coming. Throw the hook. Let's hurry. We know how to help. Thor, let's move. Uh, Unky, pull! Thanks for getting me out of there, you guys. Turbozors always help a friend in a sticky situation. Every time. Ah. She's never gonna get it. Ah. Nope, I knew she'd get it. He's never going to get it. But that's not fair. No flying allowed. Heads up. Uh, take your own advice. Look. Uh, what is that? A dandelion? Is that supposed to be an apple? This is not an apple. I saw it through my telescope and I took a picture of it. Do you think that's uh... an enormous meteorite? I'm sure of it, and it's headed straight for Grandma's garden. And how do you know that? It looks like an apple. It's the shape of an apple and the size of an apple. So. So what? And where does Grandma grow the apples? In the garden, and that's where the meteor is heading today. <gasps> oh, but that's where Grandma keeps her prized pumpkin. 
and a meteorite could... <gasps> Grandma will be devastated if that happens. I say we won't let it. Where are we heading? To the rescue as fast as we can. Uh, does anyone actually have a plan? Well, of course I do. To bring down a meteorite, you need a slingshot. <laughs> no, not a great plan. Or perhaps we could lure the meteorite into a trap. The meteorite? It's just a rock. How do you plan to lure it? With cheese? Hmm. What if we could build the world's strongest and biggest fan? And blow the meteorite straight into... That gives me an idea. Come on, let's go. I've got it. We need a racket. An enormous badminton racket. And then we'll catch the meteorite. Exactly. exactly. Look, here are the strings of our racket. We will stretch them across the entire garden, and then when the meteorite arrives, kapow! <laughs> and now to create our racket. To the lake! Go, go, Turbozoid! So, we're quickly digging up everything in the garden and moving it over here. And the meteorite will never know the difference. A brilliant idea. Hmm. What are you doing? Grandma will be back from the store any minute, and you've made a mess out of everything. Uh, well, it only appears to be a mess at first glance, but if you look a little bit closer... Put everything back where it was. Otherwise, my grandma will be very upset. Now that is more like it. Let's hurry. We need to stretch out the racket. We must carry out Peter's plan because the meteorite could fly in any minute now. Go right, and then to the left. We're just about ready. Go check for the meteorite. <laughs> Not so fast, Peter. You need to clean the lens. Look, you have a dandelion feather in your way. Oh, the meteorite is gone. It seems the only thing I saw was a feather. <laughs> a meteorite's not coming for the garden? Oops. He's going to fall down. How can we catch him? Uh-huh. <gasps> Here, turn it for me. To the right, to the left, towards me, towards me. Stop, right there. <laughs> Here's our meteorite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>